So today we will be discussing Compton effect and the uncertainty principle. So we start with the basic structure of the atom. There is a center nucleus and electrons are evolving around the nucleus in their orbits. When a photon is incident on this atom and a strike collides with the elect electron in the valence shell, it gets scattered. So the photon moves at a different at an angle after a scattering, and the electron is also pushed. You can see in this figure when a gamma ray photon is strikes the electron, the electron is pushed in one direction, and the photon is scattered in the other direction. So it has been observed that the scattered photon has a greater wavelength than the incident. So this change in wavelength, where lambda dash is the wavelength of the scattered photon and lambda is the wavelength of the incident photon. So this change in wavelength or shift is equal to h upon, h upon mc into 1 minus cos phi, where phi is the angle of scattering, the angle at which the photon is scattered. So when we talk in terms of energy, so we say that since energy is conser conserved, so the incident photon will spend some energy in the collision with the electron which was at rest and will be ultimately scattered. So there is a loss of energy. That means the energy of the scattered photon is less than the energy of the incident photon. And energy is inversely proportional to the wavelength. So the wavelength of the scattered photon is greater than the wavelength of the incident. By law of conservation of energy, we can deduce this expression. And law of conservation of momentum. We have this expression where P is the momentum of the incident photon, P dash is the momentum of the scattered photon, and P is the momentum of the electron that has been pushed. There is another effect called pair production that when a gamma, when a gamma ray photon is strikes an electron inside, then uh, this, I am talking about the case of a metal. So when the gamma ray photon is strikes a metal, two particles, an electron and a positron, are emitted. So the emission of this pair of electron and positron, the electron and its antiparticle positron, is called pair production. So this process is explained by using the quantum concept and the photon wavelength should be short that means it should be highly energetic and it should be the energy of the photon should be at least 2 mc square so if a photon with energy greater than 2 mc square falls on the metal a pair production will take place we can have the reverse if we apply a magnetic field we can achieve the reverse we bombard the metal with two particles, electron and positron, and we can get a gamma ray photon. And this process is called annihilation. The electron and the positron annihilate to give a gamma ray photon. So we have uh, checked three effects, the photoelectric effect, where the gamma ray photon is incident on the metal. It is absorbed and a photoelectron is emitted. In Compton is scattering, the gamma photon is not absorbed, it is, is scattered, and the electron is also emitted. In photoelectric effect, the electron was only emitted, the, the gamma ray photon was absorbed. Here, the gamma ray photon is not being absorbed, but is scattered. And third is the quantum pair production effect, where a high energy gamma ray photon results in the emission of an electron and a positron. Now we come to the principle of uncertainty. 
basically it was postulated that when a photon passes through a narrow slit its momentum becomes uncertain and the photon can be deflected on either side so this is a very not an exact picture it can be deflected on an either side but uh, the exact position where it will be deflected deflected is not known so heisenberg accounted this in terms of uncertainty and postulated that the exact position and exact momentum of the particle cannot be known simultaneously at the same instant and it, they may be expressed in terms of uncertainty delta x denotes the uncertainty in the position that if a particle is probably to be located between a certain length delta x then delta x is called the uncertainty in position similarly the the particle can have a momentum value be, in the range delta x so that will be termed as uncertainty in momentum and the product of the two uncertainties is greater or equal to h by two, h cross by 2 if each photon lands with some uncertainty so we know that the diffraction pattern is a result of many photons hitting the screen so if we are talking in terms of uncertainties then how will the diffraction takes place when everything is uncertain so a diffraction takes place even a single photon is striking a, it is a single photon is present in the um, uh, beam wave at the time of uh, experiment the diffraction will occur so finally heisenberg came out as i said with his principle in 1927 he reported that is it is impossible to specify simultaneously the arbitrary precision both momentum and position of a particle we can calculate the dimensions of the position multiplied by momentum we get another pair energy and time they are having the same dimensions as the product of momentum and position we are having so we can derive this relation but uh, it's a um, simple mathematics we can derive this with the first relation so further it was observed after the mathematics that energy and time are also not uh, to be determined precisely at the same as so the consequences that we cannot determine the position of a part photon precisely at a particular instant we can only to only talk in terms of uncertainty that means uh, the position of a particle is not exactly known we are talking in terms of uncertainty which has another word for it that means the position is in terms of a probability there is a definite probability of finding the particle at a particular place at a particular time so that probable that term is used in the concepts of quantum mechanics that will be developed further so i end my talk here and uh, we will be talking in terms of probability in the coming lectures the probability in position we will be defining a wave function whose square denotes the probability of finding a particle at a particular instant the so quantum mechanics is based on the probability concept on the uncertainty concept it starts with the heisenberg uncertainty principle and the mechanics is developed on the concept of probability that we will see in our coming lectures so i end up here thank you